Genesis chapter 44. And he commanded the steward of his house, saying, Fill the men's sack with food, as much as they can carry, and put every man's money in his sack's mouth, and put my cup, the silver cup, in the sack's mouth of the youngest, and his corn money. And he did according to the word that Joseph had spoken. As soon as the morning was light, the men were sent away, they and their asses. And when they were gone out of the city, and yet and not yet far off, Joseph said unto his steward, Up, follow after the men, and when thou hast overtaken them, say unto them, Wherefore have ye rewarded evil for good? Is not this it, in which my Lord drinketh, and whereby indeed he divineth? Yet have ye done evil in so doing. And he overtook them, and he spake unto them these same words. And they said unto him, Wherefore saith my Lord these words? God forbid that thy servant should do according to this thing. Behold the money which we found in our sack's mouth, we brought again unto thee out of the land of Canaan. How then shall we steal out of thy Lord's house silver or gold? With whomsoever of thy servants it be found, uh, both let him die, and we also will be my Lord's bondmen. And he said, Now also let it be according unto thy words. He with whom it is found shall be my servant, and ye shall be blameless. Then they speedily took down every man his sack to the ground, and opened every man his sack. And they searched, and began at the eldest, and left at the youngest. And the cup was found in Benjamin's sack. Then they rent their clothes, and laid it every man his ass, and returned to the city. Okay, so now it's time to go home. They're on their way, and, you know, carefree as if any, nothing had happened. You know, Benjamin was, was fine. He's going back with them. Uh, Simeon was released from prison. He's going back with them. They figure, okay, Dad's going to be happy. We did everything that we were supposed to do. And then, surprise, surprise, Joseph had a little trick up his sleeve. He has a special cup, and he puts it in the bag of Benjamin. Now, when the, the servant, the Egyptian servant, goes and catches them, you know, he tells them, you know, why did you steal this? And they proclaim their innocence. And again, it doesn't say, most likely it was um, um, Judah who said, you know what, whoever... You know, you if you find it, whoever you know took it should be, should be put to death, and we'll be your servants for the rest of our lives. But the servant says, no, whoever you know we find, we'll we'll take for, we'll we'll be our servant, and then you, who the rest of you will be innocent and you'll be free. So they took down their bags, they opened them up, they found the and. They started from the oldest, from Reuben, going down to the youngest, and they found in Benjamin's sack the golden chalice, the golden cup. And so they rent their clothes, and then they all went back to the city. Verse 14, And Judah and his brethren came to Joseph's house, for he was yet there, and they fell before him on the ground. And Joseph said unto them, What deed is this that ye have done? Watch ye not that such a man as I can certainly divine? And Judah said, What shall we say unto my Lord? What shall we speak? Or how shall we clear ourselves? God had found out the iniquity of thy servants. Behold, we are thy Lord's servants, both we and he also with whom the cup is found. And he said, God forbid that I should do so. But the man in whose hand the cup is found, he shall be my servant. And as for you, get ye up in peace unto your fathers. Okay, so here now we know it's Joseph. Joseph comes and they all prostrate themselves. They all bow down in front of Joseph. Ah, remember his dream? Remember Joseph's dream? So they all fall down and they said, we are your servants forever. And, but Joseph said, no, you guys are free, but I'm going to keep this one. Verse 18. Then Judah came near unto him, and said, O oh, my Lord, let thy servant, I pray thee, speak a word in thy Lord's ear, and let not thine anger burn against thy servant, for thou art even as Pharaoh. My Lord asked his servant, saying, Have ye a father or a brother? 
And we said unto my Lord, We have a father, an old man, and a child of his old age, a little one, and his brother is dead. And he alone is left of his mother, and his father loveth him. And thou saith unto thy servants, Bring him down unto me, that I may set mine eyes upon him. And we saith unto my Lord, The lad cannot leave his father, for if he should leave his father, his father would die. And thou sayest unto thy servants, Except your youngest brother come down to with you, ye shall not see, ye shall see my face no more. And it came to pass, when we came up unto thy servant my father, we told him the words of my Lord. And our father said, Go again, buy us a little food. And we said, We cannot go down, if our youngest brother be uh, be with us, then we will go down. For we may not see the man's face, except our youngest brother be with us. And thy servant my father said unto us, Ye know that my wife bare me two sons. And the one went out from me, and I said, Surely he is torn in pieces, and I saw him not since. And if ye take this also from me, and mischief befall him, ye shall bring down my gray hairs with sorrow to the grave. Now therefore, when I came to thy servant my father, and the lad be not with us, seeing that his life is bound up in the lad's life, it shall come to pass, when he seeth that the lad is not with us, that he will die, and thy servant shall bring down the gray hairs of thy servant our father with sorrow for the grave. For thy servant became surety for thy lad unto my father, saying, If I bring him not unto thee, then I shall bear the blame to, to my father forever. Now, therefore, I pray thee, let thy servant abide instead of the lad, a bondman to my lord, and let the lad go up with his brethren. For how shall I go up to my father, and the lad not be with him? Be with me, lest peradventure I see the devil that shall come on my father. Okay, so that's kind of a long little speech. But Judah, remember Judah told, told Israel, told Jacob, Okay, I'm going to be responsible for him. I will be responsible if anything happens. It's on my head. And now we find this chalice in the bag of Benjamin. And so Judah comes up and speaks in the ear of, of, of Joseph and tells him the whole story. Tells him, you know, you know this, is, this is what you got. You know, you told us. I mean, you know, we're... we're truly brothers we're not spies we're not thieves in our innocence you know we have done this this thing the Benjamin is 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 the youngest of our of our father our father loves this young one so much that if he were to be gone that he it would bring him to his death he would die you know he would he, uh, the, the grief would bring him to death and so please you know let, let my brother Benjamin go, and I will be here in his stead. I will take his place. Because that is what I promised my father. I promised my father Jacob that if anything should happen to him, that I would take his place. And so that is what's happening here. <clears throat>